What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. This is um oracle card reading for the sign of Aries. It's going to resonate if you have Aries in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Moon, Moon, Hamid, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, free general uh, oracle reading for the sign of Aries. I got one channeled message in for you guys as I was meditating on your energy. And um, the channel message I received was significant um, lifestyle change for many Aries coming. Some, this is very positive. Some, this is very negative. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you, Aries. Um, some kind of significant lifestyle change for many of you guys, I heard. Uh, for some of you guys, it sounds like it's going to be extreme, uh, whatever it is. For some, it's very positive. For some, it's very... Um, negative so whether it's gonna your lifestyle change is about to go up it sounds it sounds like if it's going to go up it's going to go up quickly if it's going to go down it's going to go down quickly is what it sounds like to me but you plug it in however that resonates if it resonates for you i heard many of you guys so i mean only you know your story not anybody else so you have to plug it in your own life how it resonates if it resonates for you and also i want to say this is for april of 2022 oracle card reading but we still have 10 days left in the month of March of 2022. So, and there's millions and billions of people in the world and ton of Aries. So for some of you guys, it could start resonating now in March for some April, for some past April. So I just wanted, want to make that clear um, because there's tons of people in the world. So, and everybody's on different time and life, time and life paths. So I'm just, just throwing that out there. So some kind of significant lifestyle change. I feel it's either going to go positive very quickly or negative very quickly, um, up quickly or down quickly. However, that resonates in one's life, Aries. This can resonate if you have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or no moon, Hamer, Jupiter charts. You only plug the messages in that resonate for you. There's about to be a significant death in Aries' life soon. And a significant funeral. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates in your own life, Aries. Um, if that resonates for you. I heard there's about to be a significant death in an Aries life and a significant funeral. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. Whatever Aries this resonates for, obviously, I think it's somebody connected to you. So much so that you're going to um, visit the funeral of this person whoever this is in your life. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. If you don't visit the funeral, you might send flowers or your condolences or something of that nature, but some kind of death energy. Um, it sounds like connected to you in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, like I said, um, I think it's obviously somebody you know, whether you're real close with them or not real close with them. Um, but... I feel for some, you are going to, wow, yeah, I think so, one of you guys is emotional about this situation or somebody you're connected to is emotional about this death. It sounds like the death hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming in the universe, but only you know your story, not anybody else, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. And for some of these deaths, it could be related to addictions because everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. Um, when the cards come out crazy like that, sometimes it could signify someone being emotional over you, or you being emotional about person, people, place, or situation, or, um, dealing with addictions in some shape, form, or fashion, whether you have the addictions or it's someone you're connected to. Um, so, you know, you have to plug that in your life how it resonates, but the death I'm feeling is obviously not you. It's going to be, um somebody you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. I feel for some, you're going to, um, you're going to visit the funeral. You're going to go to the funeral. Number four or three could be very significant numbers in one's life. Four or three, it could be possible ages of children you're connected to or to, of your children, possibly, or children you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, possibly, or lottery number, date of birth number, green card number, social security card number, jersey number, four or three. Also, you can be dealing with the earth sign or a fire sign. We have um, earth sign and fire sign energy. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, Sag, 
or Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Dome, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, possibly. Badger spirit being fearless and bold. Armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries. Containment reversed. I heard keep it reversed. Spell manifestation. Chairfield. Someone new is entering your life. Hat. You will be playing a different role. For a particular Aries, a Scorpio masculine is completely exiting your life. It is about to shock the hell out of you. For some, you will be very happy about this. For some, you will, you will be heartbroken. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Uh, Scorpio masculine energy, very strong. You can be a masculine or fem Aries. You have to plug in your own life how it resonates, if it resonates for you. But some kind of Scorpio masculine energy. They could have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, hammer, Jupiter, charge. You have to plug this person in in your own life how they resonate. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard basically um, a Scorpio masculine is about to permanently exit your life. Um, for some, it could, that could possibly be the death energy for some of you guys. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear they were, they were going to pass away specifically. I just heard there's going to be a death and a funeral. Um, so for some, that that person could could be the one that passes away. For some, it may not be. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard for some of you guys, I, it sounds like they're about to initiate them leaving out of your life. And I'm serious. It sounds like they are about to initiate leaving out of your life. Um, so... I heard for some of you guys, you're going to be very happy about this. So you are going to be like elated and happy and joyful in your jammies energy for some of you guys. For some Aries, it's going to make you very emotional and upset. So that could have been why the cards were going everywhere. Because for some, you don't want this. It sounds like you don't want the Scorpio masculine to leave out of your life uh, for some reason. So you plug it in however it resonates. If it resonates for you, only you know your story, not anybody else. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. A particular Aries is about to really have to stand their ground very soon. There is about to be a serious investigation very soon. Some relating human trafficking, some sex trafficking, some in your workplace regarding people outside, people that have done heinous things outside your workplace. Oh, okay. Some drug trafficking, money laundering. Oh, dear Lord, the list just goes on. So you plug it in how it resonates. Some you are the police. Okay, and some you are the police. So, so some you are the police. Um, so you're an Aries officer. And, um, and that could be the fearless and bold energy going in with this investigation. I feel for some of you officers of law, you are going to head this investigation. Or you are going to go investigate it. Or direct leaders to go, or you lead it to direct people to go investigate it. However that resonates. Definitely, um... Leadership energy I'm feeling here for the Aries officer of the law, whoever you are, sir or ma'am. Um, but for everybody else, it sounds like whatever Aries is about to be involved, involved in this investigation, some of you guys, it's in a workplace, but it's involving people. It sounds like they're going to come talk to you at your workplace, but it's involving people you work with, involving very illegal activities outside your workplace. For some, it's involving a death of a, a a former worker at your workplace involving co-workers oh my lord holy crap so for some of you guys it's involving the it sounds like they're going to come to your workplace it sounds like they're going to come to your workplace um but it's involving a death of a somebody that used to work there wherever you work aries um this person used to work with you. It sounds like in your facility, unit, site, location, what what have you, wherever you work, and how this resonates. Um, but it sounds like investigators, whether it's officers of the law or private investigators or what have you, or feds or marshals or what have you, are going to come speak to you in your workplace regarding 
the death and regarding other co-workers that used to hang out with this person that passed away outside your workplace is what it sounds like. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Holy crap. And so being fearless and bold, I'm thinking speak the truth and nothing but the truth. So help you God kind of energy is what I'm speaking of. Uh, what, not what I'm speaking, what I'm feeling here. Holy moly, man. Oh, man. Um, and that's for some of you guys. For some of you guys, it's regarding human trafficking, sex trafficking, money laundering, and um, drug trafficking. And for some of you guys, I feel work they're coming into your workplace to speak to you about co-workers that are participating about, either they are participating about these, these um, with these acts outside your workplace, or they're suspecting they are. And I think they're going to try to get information and try to figure out what the hell's going on. That's what it's seeming like from the messages, but you plug it in how it resonates. Um, so I'm feeling speaking the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. So help you God energy here. Be fearless and bold. And basically, if you need to be a whistleblower, be a freaking whistleblower, man. Um, because here's the deal. Here's the way I look at it, Aries. If you are a whistleblower on these people, these shisty ass people that you work with and you know this shit, you are an accomplice. If you do not whistleblow on these people, you become a part of the shit. There's not any snitches get stitches and protection energy here because these people aren't going to protect you. They're shisty. The smart thing to do, of course, you could take the advice or leave it, but the smart thing to do would be when the investigator or investigators come, whether they're police, feds, marshals, private investigators, whatever the hell they are, speak the truth and nothing but the truth will help you God. If you throw them under the bus, you throw them under the bus, but you save your ass. That's the way I look at it. You need to be honest because if you're not honest, who's to say, I mean, something doesn't strange end up happening to you down the line. Like, um, what is it? Um, that movie I'm thinking of, um, I can see a scene in my head, but I cannot think of the movie right now. Um, like Final Destination Energy. Like Final Destination Energy. You do not want something, the universe to start forcing something because you lie on this shit is what I'm trying to say. You do, I mean, you can do what you want to do. Everybody's got free will, Aries. But I think one of you guys definitely knows about some of this uh, stuff. One definitely knows a lot. It would be very smart to divulge it and quickly. Oh my God, that's confirmation. Oh, geez. I heard one of you guys definitely knows a lot. You know a lot, man. And it would be very smart to divulge it and quickly. So be fearless and bold and don't have the stitches get snitches, uh, snitches get stitches mentality. Whistleblower is the way to go, man. It saves yourself. And maybe in some of these situations, you could ask to be part of the witness protection program and save your freaking self if you think you're in danger. And I'm serious about that because this is some serious shit. Coworkers hanging outside of work, but participating in illegal shit. I have nothing against coworkers like hanging outside of work, but these coworkers are some shisty ass coworkers, man. I mean, you're human trafficking, sex trafficking, money laundering, and um, what was the other one? Something else. You'll have to go ahead and check it. Those are all crazy shit. That's crazy shit. That's not going to get a beer after work. And so much so that somebody's passed away because all the co-workers were hanging outside of work. You can do what you want to do, but one of you guys knows a freaking shit ton about this. It'd be smart to divulge it, but of course you have your own free will. Oh my God, Aries. Oh, set healthy boundaries. A particular Aries is about to find out a water sign is about to move overseas and quickly. One of these Aries will tell this to federal agents very soon. They're tired of being a pawn. Oh my Lord, this reading has already turned left so quickly. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys is about to find out a water sign is about to basically hightail it overseas. It sounds like they are about to wussy out because I think they know, I think the feds are onto them. 
Um, I think you know the feds are on to them. And I'm serious. So much so they're about to wussy out and freaking move overseas is what I heard. Now, wherever they currently are, I'm not sure wherever you currently are. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But I heard basically you are going to tell the feds. You are going to tell the feds, federal agents, um, because you're tired of being the pawn. I think this water sign made you a chess piece in their crazy game. Um, it's exactly what I'm feeling. They could have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts, masculine or femme. But you're about to set healthy, healthy boundaries with them. And you're about to, um, one of you guys is about to be a whistleblower to the feds. And I'm serious. You are. One is. Um, whoever you are. That's smart. Um, I don't know about the rest of you guys. Only you are the only, you are the manifester of your own destiny there. So whatever decision you decide to make. But man, some of you guys know some deep dooku secrets on um, some water sign energy. I'm feeling a scorpionic masculine energy and a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, masculine or femme. But you plug it in how it resonates and a lot of co-worker extreme criminal activity too. Um, I mean like extreme criminal activity outside of the actual workplace. But you know about this. Mm. Containment reverse. And one of you guys is officer of the law. I feel you're about to start investigating this. Huge secrets are about to come out, whether people want them to come out or not. Some Aries are about to help them come out. One Aries is very scared, but do not be scared. One Aries is about to get so stressed out. Premature labor. One, a miscarriage. Lord have mercy. Whoa, Lord. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Somebody is in some toxic situation, man. If I just want to say, if you were involved with this crap in your regular 3D life, how the hell can you not be stressed out every single day of your, your life knowing you're involved in human trafficking, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, money laundering, the uh, co-workers hanging outside of work so they can human traffic, sex traffic, money launder, and um, drug traffic. I'd be stressed out every day, every single day of my life. I could, uh-uh, no. I like living a happy, peaceful life. I like going and doing fun shit and um, hanging out with my kiddos. And eating fun places and doing fun shit. That's not fun. I mean, I would be stressed every single day of my life. How, I don't know how you guys live in that. And I'm serious. Um, yeah, it stresses me out just doing this reading. And I'm serious. Oh. Um, I'm not judging. I'm just trying to get you to look at it from a different perspective, you guys. Because this is terrible. This truly is terrible. If you want to change your life, you're going to have to get out of this toxicity. Somebody is in some serious toxicity. And I mean, I'm just being straight with you. Um, hopefully this helps somebody. Confirmation for my intuitive kitty. Come on, baby. That couldn't have come at a better time. I'm serious. Um, I'm serious. Um, but I heard secrets are coming out. They're about to come out. And they're about to come out soon and quickly. Um, some of you guys, some Aries are about to help them come out. Some Aries, it sounds like they're not going to help them come out, but they're about to come out whether they want them to come out or not. So you have to plug yourself in on whatever totem pole and you're on on this situation. Are you the Aries about to help these secrets come out? Because we're containment reverse. They're coming out whether they want, um, whether you want them to or not, whether you're going to help them come out or whether you aren't, um, or whether you're just going to sit on the sidelines and let some, uh, another Aries or somebody else let them come out. However that resonates, Okay. You are the manifestor of your own destiny. However that resonates, okay? Um, but there's at least two pregnant Aries in the universe in this reading. One I heard is um, about to get so stressed out, they're about to go into premature labor. So they are pregnant. Um, and it sounds like some kind of premature labor. Like they're about to go into labor prematurely. 
Um, so I'm feeling the 438 weeks because um, at least when I was pregnant, of course, it's been 15 years since I've given birth. Um, 38 weeks, what, if you gave birth before 38 weeks, it was considered premature. So I don't know if they changed it since then. It's been a long time, but I'm feeling whoever the premature labor Aries feminine is, um, whether they have masculine or femme parts, but definitely femme parts to produce a child. I'm feeling they're not to the 38 uh, week tr threshold yet for the, for that one. There's another pregnant Aries, and I heard um, they're going to end up, they're about to get so stressed out, they're going to have a miscarriage. So for the other pregnant Aries, I'm feeling they are not far along in gestation of pregnancy yet. Um, I'm feeling not even first trimester yet. So not even 20 weeks is what I'm feeling. Um, but only you know your story, not anybody else, pregnant Aries. I feel both of you guys probably watch my channel. A lot of you guys probably watch my channel, but man, this is some crazy shit. And I'm serious. Lord, so you plug it in how it resonates. So containment reverse, I mean, information, I'm feeling this information is about to come out, whether you guys want it to or not. I mean, it is. One Aries is definitely about to help it come out. Whoever you are and how that plugs in. And then we've got at least two pregnant Aries I'm pulling in here. One I'm feeling is third trimester. One I'm feeling hasn't even hit the first trimester. Um, definitely fem parts to produce a child, at least two of you guys. So you plug it in, how it resonates, and that could be the secrets coming out too when all this crap happens, when the premature labor happens and when a miscarriage happens for one, um, how that resonates. Wow, man, let me see if I hear anything else. Good Lord. A homemade pipe bomb in a business is about to be very significant in an Aries life. About to realize huge dangers here. Oh my lord. Oh, this is just getting, this is terrible. I mean, I'm serious. A homemade pipe bomb is about to become very significant in an Aries life in a business. It's about to, whoever this Aries is, um, I feel you might be an employee at this business or you might be the business owner or you might be the officer that responds to the call or officers that responds to the call or you might be fire, uh, fire um, investigators or um, firefighters that respond when shit starts catching on fire from the pipe bomb possibly. Um, however that resonates, or you could be family members of people that was caught in the hairs of this, crosshairs of this pipe bomb. Um, however that plugs in, or you could be watching the news when this happens, because uh, I didn't hear it was going to be on the news, but I, I can't imagine how it's not going to be. Um, however that plugs in, but basically some kind of pipe bomb energy in a business suit. Um, it's about to give you, Aries, a huge wake-up call about how dangerous situations basically can really be. Um, I'm feeling for a, a, whoever this is resonating with, I feel you're about to be closely connected to this pipe bomb at a business um, situation. Um, whether you are in this business when it, this pipe bomb goes off or you respond to the call or you have a family member connected in this hot mess express, however it reson resonates, but containment reverses basically in this situation, I'm feeling is the pipe bomb about to explode in this business. Um, it's not contained. It is about, it's going to explode. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Lord. Manifestation. A particular Aries feminine is about to find out about a Libra masculine's several side pieces.
For some, a Scorpio masculine, several side pieces. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Some, a Leo masculine, several side pieces. Oh, my God. Whoa. Okay, so um, you plug it in how it resonates. Lord have mercy. However that resonates. Okay, so if this resonates for you, you're an Aries fam. You could have Aries in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Moon, Hammer, Jupiter, Charts. So if that resonates for you, Aries fam. But now, however you're connected to these people, some it's a Libra masculine, some it is a um, Scorpio masculine, some it's a Leo masculine. Um, so you could be legally married to these people. You could be a fiance of these people, I mean, person or people. You could be legally married to the person or people. You could be a fiance of the person or the people. You could be a girlfriend of the person or people, or you could just be a friend or a person of the past. But however that resonates, however you're connected to them is what I'm trying to say. Um, but however it resonates, um, you're about to find out about their several side pieces is what I heard. Now, anybody who doesn't know a side piece is basically a piece of ass on the side. It's basically a piece of ass on the side. It's not anybody serious. For some, it could be like swinger energy or orgy energy or something like that. But it is a very non-committal. just, hey, you want to go have sex? Sure. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Don't talk for three weeks. And then, hey, you want to have sex? 15 minutes. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. And th I mean, and then four more weeks down the line. You don't talk and then boom. It's like that. And they have several of them. Um, so they, I mean, they've got people on their dirty little white book on speed dial over here, whoever these people are, um, and how are they connected in your life, Aries Femme, I, you're about to find out about them. So you don't know about these side piece energies yet for a lot of you guys, I feel like, but you're about to find out. And that could be the containment reverse too. You're about to find out about these. Um, I think you didn't think these people had side pieces on the side. But they do, and they got a whole, they don't, they don't have a little appetizer section. They've got a whole damn buffet. And I'm just being for real for real. Okay? I mean, you're about to find it out anyways, but I'm just saying. Contain reverse. Secret's coming out, baby. They're about to. Um, and that could be the setting the healthy boundaries with these people. I feel for some, you've had sex with them before. I'm serious. I feel for some, you've had sex with them before. Or you are their girlfriend, fiance, or legally married spouse. And I am serious as a damn heart attack about that. Whoever you are, I'm serious. Um, you're you're an Aries fam if that resonates for you. You're an Aries fam. You can have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, Jupiter charts. You're dealing with either a Scorpio masculine, a Libra masculine, or a Leo masculine. They could have Scorpio, Libra, or Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, Node, Midheaven, Jupiter charts. However that resonates. A lot of side piece energy, a whole damn buffet, not even a little appetizer section, just saying. So in that aspect, it's manifestation of all these side pieces. So once you find out about it, when the containment and the secrets come out, what are you going to do about it? Are you going to set healthy boundaries or are you going to be a side piece too? Or the main appetizer, the person on their arm in the social media pictures, but behind the scenes almost every night. They're banging somebody new. I mean, I mean, it's so bad. We've got two pregnant Aries over here that's in some crazy, cra crazy ass situations. I feel some of these people might have been side piece energy. I didn't hear they were. Only you know your story, not anybody else, Aries films. Or were you side pieces or not? I don't know. But somebody's in some toxic ass shit. And I don't care what anybody says. This is toxic ass shit. And I'm serious. Chairfield, someone new is entering your life. I hope it's not another side piece. And I'm serious.
For some Aries, this is a new job. For some, it's a housekeeper. For some Aries, this is a new job. For some, it's a housekeeper. For some, you are the housekeeper. For some, you are the housekeeper. So you plug it in how it resonates. So for some of you guys, the someone new entering your life is um, at workplace energy. It's workplace energy. It's a new job. So it's you entering this new workspace and meeting new people. Um, and whoever this is, that's confirmation for my intuitive kitty. Whoever this is resonating with, I don't feel it was a referral friend energy um, because these are new people to you. You don't know these people. So I don't feel it. I feel for some, you might have traveled locations to get this new job. And I'm serious. <clears throat> and that's not bad at all. It's actually wonderful energy to me, be around new energy and new spaces and new people. Um, it freshens up the energetic space. So um, that's wonderful. And that could be you setting healthy boundaries and... Um, um, setting off to new ventures. I'm feeling new energies here, not refer a friend, people you know for 20 years and work with 10 years ago, whatever. New, new, new people for the workspace. And that's beautiful for some of you guys. For some, it's a new, uh, housekeeper. So the new fresh energy, the new person in your life is a housekeeper. And for some, you are the housekeeper. So you're entering someone else's home as a housekeeper. Um, so you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. First, one particular Aries feminine, a new doctor for your child is about to come into your life. They are about to be a lifesaver. Serious health issues here. Okay, so at least for one of you guys, a new doctor is about to enter your child's life, I heard. Um, um, I, this new doctor is going to be a lifesaver, I heard. Um, they're going to be a lifesaver. Um, that's beautiful. Um, so it's your child's doctor is what I heard. Um, your um, The child's doctor is going to be a lifesaver. So that's really, really beautiful. And that's the new doctor energy for your child. That truly is beautiful. I mean, it really is. You plug it in how it resonates. Pat, you will be playing a different role. A particular Aries feminine doctor is about to move to a different city soon. Freshen up the energetic space. They have a family. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, you, whoever you are, your Aries doctor, your Aries femme doctor. Um, so I'm feeling like MD or DO energy. However, that resonates is what I'm feeling. Um, how that plays in your life, but I heard you're a doctor. Um, I heard you're about to move to a different city and you have a family. So you have a family. I'm feeling like a spouse and children or children. If you're a single doctor, Aries feminine, um, but you're about to move your family, whether you are legally as single on the tax return or not with your child or children cities to freshen up the energetic space. So in this aspect, the different role I'm feeling is learning the city, learning um, where, what other, you know, whatever practice you're about to move to, whether it's a hospital or family practice or what have you in the different city, learning all the new people, the city, the layout, um, getting your kids acclimated, lots of new role energy there because it'll be lots of new people and place and spaces and et cetera. And um, new people entering your life with all this newness going on there. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, that's beautiful.
A particular Aries feminine is about to reveal some very toxic information on a toxic Gemini adult. Pedophile. She feels like she should have done it a long time ago and she's about to do it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Very high vibrational Aries feminine. Okay, so you, well, you it started off pretty rough, you guys. That started off rough. I'm not even going to lie. The first 20 minutes, I was just like, whoa. But it's getting a lot better now. It's getting a lot better. So whoever you are, you're a high vibrational Aries Femme energy. Um, you could have, well, not the first 20 minutes. It was more like five or six minutes to like 20. Because that Aries officer one went bad. Um, but you plug it in how it resonates. But anyways, you're a high vibrational Aries Femme, whoever you are. Um, you know information on a, I heard a toxic adult Gemini masculine pedophile um i heard you felt like you should have revealed the information a long time ago but you didn't so maybe for some you were blackmailed or you were afraid or something prevented you from revealing the information in some shape form or fashion but i heard you're about to do it um and I'm about to do it soon knows it's very important and wants to pay it forward okay i heard you're about to do it soon and because you want to pay it forward um and you know it's important um, and you want to do it and you're going to do it soon. So the containment reversed in this situation is you revealing this information on this toxic Gemini masculine adult energy pedophile. I heard they're a pedophile. So you know they're a pedophile or you're suspecting they're a pedophile. But you in this aspect, it's you revealing the secret high vibrational Aries feminine energy. You could have Aries in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, north, node, and Hamer, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Aries feminine, high vibrational energy um and that could be you you playing a different role i heard you um you felt like you should have done it a long time ago so i'm feeling official reporting energy here i'm feeling uh i'm serious to the police possibly or um feds or marshal well probably not feds or marshal i'm thinking local police energy or child protective services or both is what i'm feeling here um how, only you know your story not anybody else high vibrational Aries fem. So whoever you're going to report it to, the police or child protective services or both, however that resonates, okay? But in this aspect, the um, you will be playing a different role is you revealing this information. I'm feeling you're getting the confidence up. I feel for some you could have been blackmailed or bullied in the past not to do it, or you were afraid. But now it sounds like energy shifted and you're about to do it. Um, maybe for some, you're the ones about to move out of cities and locations and you're going to pay it forward in this this way um in some shape form or fashion maybe you're going to pay it forward to the other parent or to the children however that resonates child or children however that resonates okay i love you guys so much everybody make wonderful choices and namaste